welcome back to my channel it's mary z uh today i'm going to show you how you can uh, prepare a few leaves of you know sage is you know it's just a part of your meal or breakfast sage is a herb look at that it is a herb amazing herb with wonderful leaves look at the leaves the leaves are velvet like and a bit purplish this herb sage is known as the herb of strength and wisdom it's amazing look at it closely the leaves are really amazing they have a velvet touch to them and uh, this species is called salvia officinalis salvia officinalis uh, sage is known for its pungent mm. it's known for its pungent um, uh, aroma and it is very really good to grow like all year round it can withstand a uh, frost so you can grow it all year round velvet leaves which are silvery like you know look at them they are silvery silvery like and uh, sage is one of the you know the herbs which are really amazing you know we have herbs like lavender rosemary and thyme but i prefer this herb because of its amazing structure look at that look at the veins of the leaves wow and this amazing i've just grown my this uh, sage in some pots and I'm hopefully it will stand the frost because soon it will be cold and you know chilly. So I just try growing them in pots like I've done. So what more can we say about sage? Sage is believed, you know, people believe that it enhances the thinking. You can improve your thinking capacity. You can, it can improve your cognition, you know, remembering stuff and so on when you use it. And these are beliefs, you know, they are not scientifically proven. Proven. So sage is also uh, loaded with, it's known to be loaded with antibacterial, you know, you know um, uh, some, some antibacterial, you know, structure. And it is believed to fight infections. Wow, I love this leaf. I just unplug this one so that I really show you its appearance look at that amazing mm, the aroma is amazing it's from another world so that's why you know people believe that um, it helps infections it can help digestive problems these are beliefs these are beliefs so it's not really scientifically uh, proven it can help with inflammation and pain and can fight germs so but the thing which you should know is we when we are taking it we should take it in small quantities you know just a little bit at a time because we it's um it's a herb which is believed to be helpful but still uh, the botanists need to work more on this herb to really um, show us uh, its uh, qualities or what it can do to us health wise so when you prepare your dish at home your like your soups uh, your cuisine you can always add a little bit of sage in them just a little bit because you know like any other food or any other herbs people out there might be allergic to them so just take a uh, one step at a time a little bit at a time but um the scientists also have said it's not suitable for those who are breastfeeding uh, because of the strong chemicals in it so i like the idea that we can use it in small quantities in dishes you know if you are able to have this uh, wonderful uh, herb sage look at that look at this sage wonderful so i've um, washed i've plucked the, uh, a few leaves from my plants here so i'm going to show you how you can you know how you can come up with some crispy 
leaves of sage so uh, i used a little bit of butter about a tablespoon of butter and uh, uh, what's next is i'm just going to show you uh, how you can come up with a delicious with some crispy uh, uh, leaves of sage so here i've mixed the um about one tablespoon of flour because i just want to show you and one egg and a bit of water to make this a uh, uh, flowing dough look at that so i'm going to dip the leaves in this sedge i've already plugged the leaves from the plant uh, i plugged the leaves from the sedge plant and i've washed the leaves and now the leaves i've just left them to thaw a bit you know to get that moisture in the fridge so i'm going to take the leaves out and then fry them i'm going to fry them so the leaves were in the fridge so uh, so now when they thaw they will be thawing in a little in a few minutes in a few seconds so these leaves have been in the fridge so these are the leaves which i put in the fridge look at that look at that these are the leaves which are in the freezer so next thing is just to dip them in the butter uh, i'm going to dip them in the butter so the, the leaves have been in the fridge now it's, dip, it's time to dip them in the butter just dip them in this butter egg flour a little bit of flour if you want you can put a pinch of salt just for taste so um i have five about five leaves with me here so just dip them on the dough dip them on the dough and then yeah finally i'm going to fry them in the in some olive oil so i have five leaves with me here just dip them in in the dough an egg and flour and a pinch of salt so i've prepared five leaves all together and then i need to use olive oil just to fry them just use olive oil to fry them so i'm going to fry them uh, not very hot oil just moderate hot oil so this is dipping the look at that i'm dipping the leaves in the dough then fry them fry the sage leaves and see what happens and this amazing so all the leaves have been dipped in the dough and the oil is now hot so i'm going to fry them and see what happens fry them just dip them in oil moderate hot olive oil or any other oil of your choice Uh, fry them there dip them in the oil so as i said i have about five leaves which i'm going i'm frying now i dip them in the dough yeah so the leaves are in the dough now the, the leaves are in the pan look at that frying the sage leaves frying the sage leaves and when they are ready one side is crispy i'll turn them to the other side and I have a paper towel ready to dab the fat uh, before serving. I need to dab the fat. So using 
Line the paper towel in a plate. Line the paper towel in a plate. Like that. Line the paper towel. Now we wait for our leaves to brown. Moderate heat is the best. You can turn them over. Turn the leaves over. Yeah, you can save them when they are really crispy. Okay, moderate heat. Turn the leaves over. And turn the leaves over. Look at that. And this amazing. The sage leaves are cooking. Wow. Love this. Love the recipe. So, there are many ways of exper experimenting with the things which are around us, with the plants around us. So today it's an adventure with sage. And uh, just to sum up what I've done, I've washed the leaves and then I put them in the freezer for a few minutes just to make them absorb some water, some moisture. Then I prepared a tablespoon of flour, a little a pinch of salt and one egg. Beat them up with a little bit of water to make a lovely uh, flow, free flowing dough then when uh, you are ready you then dip the sage leaves in the dough and then finally come up with the frying so this is what i'm doing now coming up with the frying and they're frying in the pan look at that <laughs> 